Hi everyone, it's Chris from My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop and today I'm going to be demoing on the beautiful Baby Lock Sashiko machine. This one is so much fun. But today we're going to talk a little bit more about how to do straight line quilting as well as curved quilting. And it has a little bit more to do with our presser foot dial. So let's take a closer look. So one thing to note is that if you are stitching with a single layer, I highly recommend using a tearaway stabilizer underneath. Now, if you're doing a quilt, you don't need to worry about an added layer of stabilizer. All right, the next thing to know is that when you put this in, again, that thread is being held tight into the little thread catcher on the side. You always wanna start your stitching in the fabric. Don't stitch it off of the fabric. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lower my presser foot and right here is a dial and this is your presser foot dial and this is how high or how low your presser foot goes if i'm just doing straight stitching i'm going to keep it at its lowest level which is a zero so now let's take a look at the needle and begin stitching All right, and that's how you do a straight stitch. Notice though that my presser foot is down nice and tight. There's no room for wiggling around, so you can't even make a curve, right? So if I want to do curves, this is where I'm going to adjust the presser foot height, and I'm going to take it up to maybe a 1.5. I could go between maybe 1.5 or a two. Now let's take a look at what happens. I'm stitching and I want to turn it. Aha! See how easily I can turn this fabric now? And I can go in all different directions. And that's because without even having to stop the machine, I can situate this and turn my fabric because the presser foot height is up a little bit higher. All right. Now you're gonna notice that the needle is in the up position, but let's say I want to do pivoting. I wanna do a straight line and I wanna turn at a corner. Well, it's really easy to do, and that's going to be by engaging the needle down button. So I'm going to touch on this once, and notice that the green light is, has the needle in the down position. Also, I've made sure that my presser foot dial is to a 1.5 or even a two. Okay, either one will be just fine so that I can then pivot without having to stop and lift up the foot. All right, so let's go ahead and begin stitching. Again, I'm trying to be able to have nice corners, okay? Notice the needle goes down and I can pivot. Needle stays down, pivot. Now, isn't that wonderful that you can do that without having to stop and lift up the presser foot from behind? I can actually keep both hands on my project and never have to worry about lifting up that presser foot manually. All right, let's go take a look at what this stitch looks like in order to um, have my needle go up. I'm going to go ahead and press that button right there. It's in the up position. I'll lift up my presser foot and remember that when you pull this out, you're always pulling your project to the back, making sure that the thread catches right here in that thread catcher. Okay, and then trim my threads. And you can see I had nice curves going on right here, and this is where I decided to engage being able to pivot and have nice straight corners. And so that's all. That's all there is to being able to do uh, straight line quilting versus being able to do curved quilting. It's really as simple as just changing that presser foot height and then you're ready to go have some fun. All right, everyone, I hope you learned something new and know that you can find your Baby Lock Sashiko at My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop and MyGirlfriendsQuiltShop.com.